Hello and welcome. I'm Sangeeta from Austria, South Asia. Healthcare has been a priority sector for innovation from both Australia and India. Today, I'm in conversation with Dr. Margaret Fo, founder and CEO of Synapse Medical. Welcome, Margaret. Thank you, Sangeeta. It's a pleasure to be here. Margaret, please tell us about Synapse Medical and why did you choose India as a market and what has been your experience? Synapse Medical is a med tech organization. Uh, we provide digital solutions to administrative headaches in the healthcare sector and we do that globally. We have three offices in Sydney, Chennai and Dubai and approximately 100 staff working across those three offices. So in terms of choosing India, it was a very natural fit for me, to be honest, because I began my India adventure as a 20-something-year-old backpacker and fell in love with India and just kept returning over and over again. So when the time came to expand my business, I didn't really look anywhere else. India was the place for me. But I guess there were some practical reasons for that as well. The first would be English. English is widely spoken right throughout India so there wouldn't be language barriers. The second would probably be the Westminster system of democracy because what that means practically is that it feels the same. Setting up a business in India feels very similar to setting up a business in Australia because the legal documents and the legal processes are all much the same. There's always challenges establishing a business, right, even in Australia. But what was interesting, I think, is that establishing a business in India, I anticipated there would be challenges in certain areas and I, I was actually wrong. So even though the legal documents are all very similar, I thought it was going to be very difficult to get all those papers stamped and approved and registered. But I was wrong. The ease of doing business in India has been immensely streamlined over the last decade, so that wasn't that hard. There has never been a better time to enter India than now with the government support and the trade relationship between India and Australia is the best it's ever been, certainly in my living memory. So it's a very, very good time. But what I would say is do your research. You must do your research. And the other thing I would say is call Austrade and also connect with the chambers, the business chambers. I think you need to connect with them both at the India end and the Australia end so that you start to build your network of people that can help you and call Austrade because they have some fantastic individuals well versed in the Indian market ready to help.